leveraging this leadership to foster sustainable peace across East Africa. How critical is peace and security for enhancing trade and economic growth in the region, Your Excellency? Thank you very much, uh, Madam Secretary General. Your Excellency, Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic, Federal Republic of uh, Tanzania, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, um, distinguished delegates. First, let me commend Tanzania for hosting this very important celebration of 25 years of <laughs> East African community. Let me also take this opportunity to congratulate our founding fathers, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, Julius Nyerere, and Milton Obote, for the foresight they demonstrated in 1963. And to our Mze President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, William Kappa, and Daniel Moy again in 1999 for revisiting this very important union that brings together the people of our region to pursue what is important to all of us, to the people of our region, and what is important to the development of our region. Again, Mze, on behalf of your colleagues who are there, from us who are not there then, we want to say congratulations. <laughs> Having you in our midst during this celebration is a great privilege for us that we can listen from you, we can listen from your experiences, we can learn from what happened then, and you keep, us remi you keep reminding us of why this is important. Many East Africans are persuaded that the East African Community Project is a project in the right direction. And I can confirm from Kenya that the East African Community Vision is a vision that we support wholeheartedly. Um, the treaty, the East African Treaty, brings us closer and deepens our social, economic, cultural, and political integration and the working together of us. And when a survey was done in 2000, I think 2007, 2008, it was overwhelming that the people of East Africa supported the East African community. They even went ahead to support the East Africa Political Federation. And that is why in 2017, I think it was the 18th summit of the ESC, it was then decided that a group of professionals, I think then led by Amos Wako, who is in our midst, uh, the Attorney General of Kenya Emeritus, who is right here, to begin the journey to think about how we can harness this East African community from where we were, the journey towards a customs union, moving into um, a common market that we, 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 we are working on and all our ministers today are working in concert to make sure that we consolidate this market 
moving into a monetary union and eventually into what now we are working on into a political confederation on our way to a political federation. I must commend Burundi, Uganda and Kenya who have already undertaken public consultations on the confederation and also to commend Rwanda, Tanzania and South Sudan for having already set dates for political consultations. To achieve what Mze uh, Museveni has said. And it is my considered view that the East African community being the foremost economic community in Africa of all regional economic communities, East Africa community is the most progressive. Today, our intra-trade within ESC is between 25 and 28 percent. That is the highest of any community in Africa. We are actually the trailblazers. This is also the community that has institutions that are working. We have a Pan-African, we have a East African Parliament, YALA, that is working. We have an East African Court of Justice that is working. And these institutions are the building blocks towards a viable entity that can support the progress of our region. Today, in the um, inter-trade between all our countries, Kenya was the leading country in terms of goods and services that we trade in East Africa. Today, Tanzania has overtaken Kenya. And I must commend Tanzania for the progress they are making, that the numbers are growing of trade between our countries. And as the numbers grow, different countries are selling more different products, different services within our common market. It is what it is. And that is why we must work on this consistently together. Um, President Museveni has said that we are not in this community because we love one another. It's good to love one another. It's a good thing. But we are, we are in this because we have common interests. Our interests converge. If we have to prosper, we need a big enough market for our producers for our manufacturers, for our business people to trade and to invest. It is good for business people in Tanzania, it is good for business people in Rwanda, it's good for business people in every country that we have a bigger market. And it's a market that has no barriers. You told us, Mze, that uh, this is also important because of what you have called strategic security. And that takes me to the question that I have been asked by the Secretary General, the security of our region. We all know that it is not possible to invest or to attract investment. It is not possible to do business it is not possible to invest unless there is peace 
security and stability. It's not possible. And that is why it is and must be our collective effort to keep our region peaceful and to invest in the security and stability of our region. It is the reason why um, Kenya is invested in working with South Sudan at the request of President Salva Gair when he requested me to provide a forum and a platform and a mechanism for the people of South Sudan to talk amongst themselves. Kenya was ready and willing and available to do that. And there is tremendous progress that has been made in the discussions between the different actors in South Sudan. We intend to conclude this in a couple of uh, months so that South Sudan can continue to do what they must do as a country, go into elections, unify the country, and play its rightful place in the East African community. It is also the reason that between President Museveni, myself, my brother Hassan Sheikh, and the Prime Minister Abiy, we are planning to have a meeting to also reduce the tensions that currently are in the Horn of Africa. Because the security of Somalia, the stability of Somalia, contributes significantly to the stability of our region and the environment for investors and business people and entrepreneurs to thrive. In the same uh, spirit, the process in uh, DRC, which ESC has been involved in, and we welcome the suggestion by DRC to unify the two processes, the Luanda process and the Nairobi process, into one process. We got recommendations from uh, DRC that they would rather this process be put together under Luanda process, under the facilitator, President Uhuru, from the Nairobi process, be enjoined in the Luanda process. And we are in support of a process rather than running two parallel processes. It is better that we have one process that would help consolidate all efforts and all actors so that again we can meaningfully contribute to the peace and stability in DRC as a way of making sure that our region has the security that we need, the stability that is necessary for us to continue the journey of building prosperity for the people of our region. So all these uh, processes are, are necessary. And because of the experience we've gone through, we have participated in uh, 45 peacekeeping and peacemaking missions around the globe. We were requested by the United Nations to provide leadership in Haiti. Again, we have made good progress in Haiti. The next contingent of security people will be um, going to Haiti in the, a couple of weeks from now. We are working with many partners from the Caribbean Organization of American States and many other actors in trying to assist the people in Haiti 
majority of whom are of African descent to also enjoy um, peace like those of us who are in this part of the world. So um, Kenya is invested in as we focus on what helps us to grow. Finally, um, when the founding fathers, President Nyerere, Jomo Kenyatta, and Milton Obote, came up with the East African Federation then. It didn't go as far as they had envisioned. And we must commend Zanzibar and Tanganyika then that took the bold step and created the United Republic of Tanzania. And when President um, Suluhu invited us to the celebrations of the Union, um, I, I didn't get the opportunity, but I wanted to ask then, let me ask now. Now that the unity and the Union Ile muungano ilikuwa ifanyike 1963-64 na fikiri. Iyo muungano ikawa ikaanza, ikakuja Zanzibar, ikaungana na Tanganyika. Sasa mbona ilikuwa hapo. Ingesonga sasa ikuje Kenya, iende Uganda, Ndiyo sasa ikamilike vile waanzilishi wa nchi zetu walivyo kuwa wameifikiria. Sasa nyinyi watu wa Tanzania muko na deni ya wa East Africa wengine. Yes. You have a debt to East Africans. That the unity that was figured out by our leaders that started with only Zanzibar and Tanganyika then it must not stop there and you have an explanation to us why it should not move on and become what it was intended to be and therefore as East Africans we demand that we complete this journey of consolidating this East Africa into what our forefathers thought about. And I think that's the journey we are discussing in the political confederation. Thank you very much. Asante Rais, kwa sababu umetua changamoto kwa mheshimiwa rais wa Tanzania ya kwamba lazima endelee kupanua utangamano katika kanda la Afrika Mashariki We have also heard that and thank you your excellency for the assurance of Kenya's commitment to peace and security globally as embodied by 43 Kenya led peace processes we've also heard about consolidating efforts in peace and security for stability and common and converging interest for 